Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to go over some of those weekly reminders on things that you want to make sure that you trade in for or don't miss out on. Things that are going to be ending and going away with maintenance. Now, the first half of this video, we're going to show you new things and things that are kind of limited. In the second half of the video, we'll do those static weekly trades that you should always do. Now, speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and go over right away first to begin with. If you look at the game here, there's actually some new trades that got added into the game, some new weekly trades, and I wanted to go ahead and go over that. There's actually a weekly trade that you can do now where you can get 10 of these in rare drop rate, 100%. You can find that right there in the recycle shop. So you definitely want to make sure you trade in for these. It just takes in the EX cubes, so you can use 60 in EX cubes to get a hold of 10 of these 100% rare drop rate one hour. That's really, really big. Make sure you trade in for those. Now, another trade that got added in is directly right below that. You can see this ad preset skills level one. Now this you can trade in for three a week as well. And it just takes 10 in the EX cubes as well to trade in for this too. So 30 in the EX cubes per week. And you wanna make sure that you trade in for these. You can actually generate fix the level one on any weapon with this thing. And I believe it actually passes at 100% rate too. So you're like guaranteed to generate a fix on something. Uh, so this is definitely cool for being able to generate fixes on weapons and trying to get the one that you want. So definitely trade in for that too. Okay, so we do have a couple of ARCS record rankings going on this week. We actually have three individual ARCS record rankings. So if you open up your menu and then you go to personal and then the ARCS record and then random challenge record, you can see right here, the first one we'll mention is going to be the West Kavaris Dash Stage 1. Now this one you can do just one run of and you'll get a participation reward for the Arc Circuit Badge 20. And if you do really good on it, you might possibly get silver or gold getting even more Arc Circuit Badges. Now when it comes to all of these Arc Circuit rankings, it is an individual ranking board per ship. So if you have characters on multiple ships, it's a good idea to try to do one run per ship. That way so you can get even more of those Arc Circuit Badges. And you can use those to trade in for those weekly star jumps. Now, the way that you would have found this one is over in West Kavaris. If you open up your world map here and you go over to Kavaris, it'll be right here next to this Ryuka here from Matohana of West. And you can see that little blue icon there, Signal Fence. That's where the, you would start up the dash. Now, for the other Arcs Record ranking that we have here, this one is for Broken World Solo. Now, this one's for the Cocoon Tower that you see behind me here. And this one's actually a little special. So this one is actually for Ranger only and for Gunner only. Now this is actually an individual ranking per each one of these classes. So you'll actually get individual rewards, but you want to make sure that you try to do one run with Ranger and also one run with Gunner. That way so you get yourself a participation reward for both of these rankings because it's actually an individual one. Now, of course, you could also try to go even extra hard and you could possibly get like silver or gold and get even more badges. So it's a really good time to get a hold of a lot of these Arc Sucker badges this week. So make sure you try to hit all three of those records. So I do want to point out that ZME shops for the seasonal point trades are going to be disappearing. As you can see here, both of these two shops that we have are currently going to be going away with upcoming maintenance. So if you still have anything uh, to trade in for here seasonal point wise, make sure you go through here and trade in any of your points that you still have. So I did want to point out this is going to be your last chance to make sure that you use all your scratch tickets for the winter 23 through 24 SP scratch. So you want to make sure that you go through and scratch any of the extra tickets that you have on this because this will be going away. And saying that as well, make sure you go through if you have been scratching on it, make sure you use any of those selector tickets that you have too. Or you can pick any of the items that you want out of this prize listing. There was some really good camos in here that you might want to possibly pick up on. And most importantly, down here at the bottom, if you have the selector tickets shit, it's the 100 star gems is always a good prize to pick. So one more scratch that's going to be coming to an end as well is going to be the NGS Accessory Revival. So again, if you've been scratching on this, make sure you go through and use your selector ticket. And as well, you just might want to go through here through the prize listing of the bonus scratch as well through the prize list and just see if there's anything in here in the scratch that you might want to pick up on. There was a lot of really good stuff inside of here. So definitely a good time to pick up some of this stuff before it's too late. All this stuff's going to go up in value most likely once it's gone. So this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and go over some of those static weekly trades. This will be stuff that you should be doing every week. Most of you will probably know where this stuff is, but we'll go ahead and walk you through just a reminder on it in case you're new and you don't know where this stuff is or you're just a refresher for those of the, you that do. So first up, we're going to go to the first shop on the left here in Central City to the item trade of Travis. Now, there has been a couple of new things out here. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the item recycle here, there's two things here at the top you want to make sure you trade in for. That's the 10 in drop rate, 100% times. You can get 10 of these. It's one hour, 100% rare drop rate boosters. You want to make sure you trade them for that. And as well as make sure you trade them for these preset skill level one things here too. 
you can get three of these a week as well. Then also at the item exchange, you want to make sure you go to the bottom here and trade in for your boosters here for your augmentation success rate booster 10%. So you can get three of these. And as well, I'll also mention the Arc Circuit Badge Exchange. You want to make sure that you get your star gems here. And there's also some other stuff here that you can get if you want it to as well. There's Aegis Integra as well as the Arms Refining too, in case if you need those. Now, I do want to mention the item exchange Kavaris here actually got updated. And there's some limited time weekly stuff here too for making the Rayar weapons. So this might interest you as well. And also the item exchange Stia. If, if you need some EX cubes, you can actually get a hold of some here too. So this might actually be something that you might want to look into as well. You can also get some Arms Refiners here as well. And as well, we're going to go ahead and mention the Aegis Integrity Exchange. Now, towards the bottom down here, they actually increase the amount of these uh, Aegis Souls as well as all the Dominas that you can get. You can actually get five trades of each of these uh, a week now, which is pretty nice. And as well, they also removed the weekly limit on the Aegis Integra itself. So now you can actually just trade in all the Neos Astrium weapons that you have right away in one go. Then we'll mention the Giga Strugman Exchange too. You want to make sure that you trade them for these tech discs here. Just to customize your Photon Arts and stuff. Because you got some of that stuff here as a limited time weekly trade as well. Also the Growthman Exchange here. There's some more of those tech customization discs here. And as well, you can also get a hold of some Arms Refiner 2 in here if you need some. Or some of these LC capsules. And then lastly, I'll mention the Dread Scale Exchange here. You want to make sure you trade them for the a customization disc Omni here too. Then from there we're gonna go ahead and leave and go to the last shop on the right in Central City. That's going to be the item enhancement shop here. Now towards the bottom down here there's an item exchange enhancement here for other materials that you can get. You can get a hold of NEX cubes here as well. You can also get a hold of these gold brim sword tube and armor tube. And you can also trade in for some of the materials here for like unlocking potential six with the photon chunks and the arms refiner twos and stuff. And then next we're going to run under this tower of central city here to the Alliance support activity NPC Tim. Now Tim has uh, Alliance tests and if you do those you get Alliance badges. And you can use those to trade in for all these different Genesis points here as well as some star gems and also some of these triggers here actually have some pretty good value to them. The ones in particular that just got updated would be like the Mining Rig Kavaris and as well also the Remnants of Ambition. These actually got updated recently. So they probably have a pretty decent value right now. Now for the last part of the video here, we're going to go back to base PSO2 to hit the Casino Star Gems as well as the Buster Metal Exchange. So you do need to have base PSO2 downloaded. It is a separate DLC, but it is free, so it's very worthwhile to have. The way that you would get the base PSL2, if you go to any Ryukyu in the game, you can go to block transfer, and up at the very top is an option for transfer to a PSL2 block. Okay, so here we are back in base PSL2 in the main arc ship lobby. If you turn around, you can go inside this elevator here. Now inside of there, if you jump down off of this and you turn back around, you'll see the entrance of the casino here. Now the casino from the left up here to the stairs, there's actually a trade up here for Buster Metal Exchange. Now you get a hold of Buster Metals via running the trigger Cradle of Darkness. A lot of people will just start that. You can just join it in the class counter. You can actually get 100 star jumps here weekly too. It's actually a really nice trade that you can get a hold of here. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and run back down the stairs here. We're going to go ahead inside, uh, inside of the casino entrance here. Now inside of the casino entrance here, to the left, there's a prize attendant Chip. Now Chip has some limited time star jumps that you can get here too here with the limited time prizes. You can actually trade it for these weekly. And this is actually an individual trade per ship too. So if you have characters on multiple ships, you can actually get even more of these per ship. Now you do need casino coins to get a hold of these. So if it is your first time in the casino, you can do some tasks from this NPC right here. It'll give you some casino passes. And as well, some of these uh, games around the casino and stuff too can give a lot of coins. Now, once you have the casino coin passes, you would take them to this Vol Dragon machine right here. And this right here would uh, be able to spend one pass or five passes at a time. And he'll give like some random value of coins at you. Now, another way to get hold of Casino Coins is back in the main arc ship lobby. We're going to go ahead and show you that. It's doing a daily order. That's what I like to do. So here we are back in the main arc ship lobby. And if you run over to the left, there's a daily order attendant here. Now, the daily order attendant, she usually has some really easy to do stuff down here at the bottom for like fishing and mining inside of free explorations. A lot of them you can just gather up and you can actually just collect these items and hang on to. And then there's like other orders in here that are pretty easy. Some of them are like collect orders. You can send a support partner out to collect for you. Some of them are like really easy kills and some of them are kind of complex. Now you'll see that I have this one here, for example, already saved up. This marbled meat I collected. And you can see I have 98 of this item. Now whenever I go to turn this in, it wants me to turn in all 98. But I adjust this value to just turn in one. Because all I want to do is clear a daily river. I don't really want to turn in my, all my items. I want to save them for, for my other characters and stuff. Now when I back out, you can see that it's going to pop up that I've completed a daily order. And doing that gives me five casino coin passes, which is a minimum of 500 casino coins. Now I could actually go and do this on another character real quick. I could log in on another character 
and I could turn in that same order item there and I could get even more casino coins. So in a matter of minutes, I could actually get like tons and tons of casino coins, which turned into a lot of star gems with me. By the way, I wanted to point out, if you like some of the artwork and sketches and the gifts that you see in some of my videos here, stuff that you see on the screen, it's all commissions that I have done by an amazing artist named Mias Majin. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Mias Majin's Twitter, so you can contact them if you're interested in doing any commissions. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.